Hey guys, it's Jeremy here on Metal Music Meltdown, back with another video. What we have for today, guys, is another album review, but this week, guys, we've got a monster album, uh, the newest from Deep Purple called Equals One. Uh, Deep Purple really knows, needs no introduction, but uh, I'll do it anyways. Uh, formed in 1968 in uh, England, um, crazy proto-metal band, influential on so many early bands on the hard rock and metal scene. Uh, current lineup consists of Ian Pace, on drums, Ian Gillen on vocals, Roger Glover on bass, and Don Airy on keyboard, and McBride, I always forget his first name, Simon McBride on guitars, newer uh, edition. And this is their 23rd album, like I said, entitled Equals One. Starting with the album cover, pretty basic stuff, just as Equals One on the t on midway through the album on the display, and then underneath it has Deep Purple in, in purple, of course, and just an all-white black background. Really basic looking cover, but I think effective because if you're looking uh, through a music store, you know, glancing across the, the rows and the stuff and you see that on the new release aisle or in the stacks, just a plain white cover will kind of stand out and just a real simple writing on the front, it just, it really pops, it still really grabs your eye. Uh, 13 tracks in total, 52 minutes, a little bit longer than I thought it would be, honestly. And it was released through uh, Ear Music, if I didn't mention that already. Uh, opening track, Show Me, just under four minutes. Um, good tune, pretty rocking. Once it got going, it was a lot better. But I found the first minute of this song to be a little weird. The verse, I didn't like the, the vocal delivery on the verse at the beginning. It kind of was a little weird to me. Um, but overall, really rocking song. Once it got going, it was a lot better. But I would have chose a different song for the opening track, to be honest. I would have personally put like Sharpshooter as the opening track, which is number three. Um, it's just a much rocking, much heavier song. Sounds a little bit more aggressive. The guitar tone's a lot heavier. That's one thing I noticed with adding McBride to the band. It, he did have a lot, add a lot of heaviness to these this band and uh, like a heavier guitar tone than a couple of the previous albums. Uh, but yeah, I like Show Me, really good tune, but um, I think as an opener, it wasn't the right choice personally. I would have gone with Sharpshooter. And the next couple tracks, a uh, bit on the side and then Sharpshooter two and three. Definitely more grittier, heavier songs, crunchier guitar rift. Had a more of aggressive uh, vibe to it, and uh, I like Douglas songs a little bit better. And then uh, Portable Door number four was the opening single. Um, I think the singles they chose are really good. I think they really capture the essence of Deep Purple, especially the old style Deep Purple. And out of my in my opinion, the three singles are probably the three most well composed songs on the on the album. The most cohesive. And they have a natural flow to them. Really good melodies, good vocal lines. Ian Gillen sounds good on all three singles. And I'm referring to, again, Portable Door, Lazy Sod, and Picture of, of You. Um, I think, like I said, these are the most well-composed songs. Um, they're more, the most balanced. Uh, they have really good melodic guitar solos, really good drum fills, great keyboard solos as well. When you listen to them, they just seem to have a good flow to them. So I really enjoy those things. I think the singles are standard tracks for sure. Um, outside of that, we got uh, Old Fangled Thing, which is a really high energy song, high tempo. Really enjoyed that song as well. Ian Gillen's voices, he uh, pushed his voice a little bit further on that one. Uh, probably my standard track on the whole album is uh, If uh, if I Were You. Uh, a little bit slower song overall, the tempo, but I really dug that song. It had a really cool vibe to it. I was just, we could sing along, had a cool melodic guitar solo halfway through. Still had some guitars in there, but it wasn't complete like a, like a ballad or anything. But a much slower paced song, but I just really dug the vibe of that song. Just Ian, uh, kind of focused more on, on uh, Ian's vo uh, Ian Gillen's vocals. And it was just a really cool song. I don't know how to describe it. It just had a really, really cool vibe to it. Really, really like that song. And uh, I'm Saying Nothing was a pretty good one as well. High, high energy song, really rocking song. Uh, I really enjoyed that one as well. Again, Lazy Sod, like I said, was uh, one of the singles. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, now You're Talking, uh, again, in the vocal delivery on some of the vocal delivery in the verse was a little off for me. It didn't sound quite right. But overall, really rocking song. Nothing really too much to complain about. Uh, no Money to Burn was another one. That's a really good rocking, kind of bluesy song. Really good guitar riffs, good guitar melodies. I found there's a lot of good vocal melodies in this one, too, because... Uh, McBride did some backing vocals too, and they had some really nice melodies in there, and they uh, were standouts as well. And uh, I'll Catch You was the slowest song on the album. 
again, didn't quite sound like a ballad to me, but very slow paced, definitely a sing-along kind of song. You, if you want you to know the lyrics, you kind of belt it out. Uh, but it had a really cool kind of guitar keyboard part at the end that was really cool and it really swelled at the end to this kind of climax. I found the ending of the song really cool considering the, how, how slow the beginning was. And then the last song is the longest song on the track, um, uh, Bleeding Obvious, it's just under six minutes. Just a really good, another rockin' song, kind of similar to the singles, well, well, um, comp co compositions really well, good guitar solos, uh, vocals sound amazing on that song as well. Really solid song down the album, really crunchy guitar riffs, really heavy. Uh, so standout tracks overall for me, uh, I would go with Sharpshooter, and then the three singles, Portable Door, uh, Pictures of You, and uh, Lazy Sod. And the big sang, uh, standout track for me was uh, If I Were You. I think that's my favorite song on the album. I've listened to that a few more times uh, separately. I just really love that song, the vibe. Uh, the only songs I didn't really like, Show Me was good, but like I said, that one verse part at the beginning kind of threw me off. I didn't like the, the pacing of the vocal. I find Ian, uh, Ian Gillen, he's better off when he has more drawn out vocals where it's on, he's not a faster pace, like uh, in the verses, like a faster rhythm. I found his vocals sound better when he has like more of a singing, like drawing out the notes and, and instead of like da, da 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 That's my opinion. I think he just sounds better the other way. Uh, but I didn't really have any t really too many complaints in terms of songs. They're all pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say there was a song that really sucked in any way or was bad. Uh, production sounded really good. Guitar sounded heavy. Uh, the drums were good. You could hear all the fills. Ian Skillen's uh, vo voice was in the good good front and uh, in, in the mix. The mix was and the mix in general was really good. Everything was pretty balanced. You could hear everything really well. Uh, yeah, not too many gripes on the album either. Um, like I said, there's that one song at the beginning, the opener. I didn't like the vocal delivery on the first part, but I, and I would have changed the opener song to be a different song in my opinion. But overall, really solid album. I was pleasantly surprised how good it was. Top to bottom, it's really solid. I'd give it a solid, uh, fuck, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I really liked it. I think it'll grow on me more and more the more I listen to it. But overall, uh, great job, guys. These guys have been in the business for over 50 years, coming up on 60. And uh, they're still killing it, putting out great material late in their career. I'm just super happy they're still putting out new material. So let me know down below, guys, what you thought of the album. Uh, what songs did you like the best? What did you like the, the least? And uh, stay tuned for more great content. Until next time, guys, keep it metal.